So today I'm going to be paying strangers to do strange things for me on the internet. Well, that's what strangers are for, right? They do strange things. So I'm using the website Fiverr for this. Enjoy. Hey fellas, welcome back to the channel. You might have seen these types of videos before, but I wanted to do it with a little souls twist, you feel me? Speaking of souls, here's the first gig that caught my eye. Starlord74 is providing dark trap or soul beats for you. I didn't even know those were genres of music, but you know what I have heard of before? Dark and souls. Hello, my fellow sunbro. Praise the sun, lol. Many moons ago, I finally reached the kiln of the first flame and I couldn't believe my eyes. When I say my eyes, it was really more my ears as I gazed upon the poor Lord Gwyn fading away in his kingdom of ashes. Expecting a thunderous orchestra to accompany our battle. Instead, I was met with a somber, mournful piano that drew tears from my eyes the instant I heard it. Did you know that since Gwyn represents the light, there are no black piano keys played in this song? Now unfortunately, I could parry his attacks, but I could not deflect the feelings. As Gwyn's fire faded, I realized I had won, but at a terrible cost. As you may expect, this left a huge impact on me, both emotionally and spiritually. Naturally, I felt the only appropriate way to pay homage to this legendary piece was through commissioning a Fire Trap remix. <laughs> I would like the remix to emphasize the plin plin plon piano sound that we all know and love. Other than that, feel free to remix this track the best way you are able to. And then I've attached the link, asked if he has any questions, and yeah, I think we're ready to go. Alright, so Starlord replied and said he's new to this plin plin plon thing. I said I don't know if you need anything in particular, I'm not too familiar with making beats, but I'm certain a trap remix of this song will be legendary. He said, oh, that makes a lot of sense, ha ha ha, it'll be great to 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 to. Right, anyway, that's one order being prepared. Can't wait to see what a Dark Trap Soul Beat remix of the famous soundtrack to Gwyn will sound like. I will let you know later in the video when the order arrives. In the gaming section on Fiverr, there's always a large percentage of the listings reserved for item trading across accounts. You can see most of them advertise buying stacks of souls in the souls section. Clearly these are all just hacked or from Megamule accounts, by the way, I do not recommend you use these services. It's literally just a waste of money. However, for the purposes of entertainment, I'll take one for the team today, but I'm not gonna ask for anything as boring as souls. I'm gonna see just how far I can take this. Greetings, sir slash madam. I am an up-and-coming wizard's apprentice. As part of my training, the wizard has tasked me with creating a potion of ceaseless discharge. He has marital issues. The problem is the ingredients are difficult to find and I don't have much time. Please, dear sir slash madam, could you help me find the following ingredients needed for my potion? These shall be 10 divine blessings, 4 homeward bones, 20 purple moss clumps, 20 more blood red moss clumps, and a ghost blade plus 5 for chopping up the ingredients. The ghost blade's actually really rare. I thought I'd put one challenging item for him to find in there. I think the drop rate for it is 1% or something, so it should be a good test. Also, while we're at it, could you throw in a stack of 99 green blossoms? These are for my own recreational use. Please don't tell the wizard about them very important if you can complete this task please meet me in the alondo back streets i'll be wearing a large yellow hat go safely my prince little keys little keys little keys okay accurate and complete i think so let's start the order so there were three separate tiers to choose from here thug souls mobster souls and gangster souls a gangster souls gets us any type of gear we need apparently so that's what we'll go for believe it or not despite this worrying presentation and the eccentric descriptions he's got all five star reviews so i have high hopes for this one password is potion well this is a great start i'm trying to meet him and he's been invaded Uh... Uh... 
<laughs> okay, he's got every single ingredient completely wrong so far. You actually couldn't make this up. I think you might have got the ingredients a bit mixed up. There we go, that's more like it. Slightly more than requested in terms of quantity. All right, he got everything and more. Very impressive. Let's ask how he did it. I already had everything. That's what I thought. We're about to wrap up this trade right now, but I just remembered. I said I'd meet him wearing a large yellow hat, but unfortunately, I don't have any yellow hats on this character, so now I just look foolish. Would you be able to help me out in this regard. Moment of truth. Saved! I got my hat! Big yellow hat. Where the ladies at? Please give me five stars and a nice review. And like Dark Souls 3 Giant Blacksmith says, cometh soon. Wait, what did he just say? I don't think the Giant Blacksmith in Dark Souls 3 says much of anything, to be honest, mate. <laughs> He's dead in Dark Souls 3. Anyways, we smashed it. Successful trade, we've got all the items we needed for our potion, and a lot of extra items on the side. Alright, next, Arkham Clean guys, I've been thinking about hiring a Dark Souls coach. Yes, that's actually a thing. Maybe I can finally get some PvP tips to impress all the hotshot pontiff boys. There's actually quite a few listings for people who will co-op with you and show new players the ropes. I'll help you against the PvE or the PvP during your Dark Souls 3 playthrough. He also says he's level 540. Oh boy. Okay, so we might have a problem. He's just sent me a message telling me he's been banned because his inventory was full of things. Things. Well, I've already, I've already paid, so I might as well get something out of it. I think I'm just gonna call him. Hi, sir. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I just started my Dark Souls 3 and I'm still banned. So this is the story of how I was coached in Dark Souls 3 by a player who was banned for having hacked items. And let me show you some tips with my uh, low level character. <laughs> but he has a good sense of humor and struggles a bit with English. Sorry for my broken English and my broken accents, by the way. Which I can relate to. I lived in France for a while last year. Et c'était difficile de parler aux gens. I don't want you to pay for something that you can't have, and at the same time I want to help you. Since we obviously couldn't connect online, he ended up screen sharing his game so I could watch through Discord. And that's how I ended up taking part in a 40 minute lesson on the complexities of Dark Souls 3 multiplayer. Not something I ever thought I'd be doing, but lockdown has changed our lives, that's for sure. Uh, don't use these, they are <laughs> really cool. But... Oh, you got a rated message. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's low damage and it's split damage. It's physical, magical and fire. Wow, you got a message rated again. <laughs> <laughs> the shit is cancer. <laughs> you can use it. It's cancer. You can use it. <laughs> I didn't because... expect you to say that. <laughs> a lot, lot of boys through this. Boring to have an opponent that always do this. Then fuck you <laughs> and go away. The Lotric Knight, uh, cons it's considered as the best sword and technically it's the best. When only people use this, you can insult them. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> the Andrew's Straight Sword is also very good because it slowly regenerates your health. Uh, Claymore is one of the best weapons in the game. It's really easy to aim. So that's why it's powerful. Uh, and this weapon art is one of the best against people that are using shield. Try to infuse a shield uh, or a castus with a simple gem and blessed gem because they will give you passive mana or health regeneration. 
I've obviously edited down the 40 minutes into just these few amusing highlights. Like the time when he was demonstrating how Tears of Denial worked, except he forgot to actually cast it. I got tears. I don't have tears. <laughs> I cast the wrong spell. Uh, I love my life. I will say though, this guy really knew his stuff. The best builds and weapons, the best strategies, it was all good information. Anyway, it's time to come full circle and take a listen to the Dark Soul song remixes I ordered at the start of the video. You might remember I ordered the Gwyn theme? Well, little spoiler, but I liked what I got so much, I ordered another Dark Souls 2 Medulla remix as well from the same guy. I'm going to play a preview of both of them now for you and then I'm putting the full versions into a 50 minute lo-fi playlist video which is going up on the channel next. It's another video idea I've had in mind for a while, a play on the lo-fi study streams you see all over YouTube, except this one I thought would, would be cool to be a souls inspired playlist. I've been commissioning some amazing pixel art looping animation for it so yeah hope you enjoy it either way here is the dark trap soul beat remix of Gwyn's theme as well as medulla i'll leave you with that enjoy watching bye for now take care ciao ciao